You've got a greeting card emergency. Hello and welcome to Greeting Card Emergency. I'm your host, David Ellis Dickerson, the greeting card laureate of public radio. Now, at certain points in any relationship, there are times when you can't have sex for some reason or another. I'm thinking mostly of things like, you know, pregnancy or, uh, you know, some kind of physical illness, cancer or something, or trauma, uh, depression. And uh, I thought it might be nice to have some cards where the partner can say, look, I'm sorry, uh, but this is the situation. In a way to say, look, we aren't going to have sex, but also I still love you. So I have come up with three cards, and I hope they help any of you who are in this unfortunate situation. The first is for just sheer physical problems. It really is something like, you know, I had hip surgery and I can't move. In my mind, I crave your body. Sorry my body is being stupid. Loving you in every way I can. The second one is for someone who is in a, I think, a long-term relationship. I think this is the way it works, where you know ahead of time that the, there's going to be buy-in from the other partner, that, you know, it's just a way of saying we're in for it for a while. Uh, and it goes like this. It sucks that I can't sleep with you right now, but it's amazing that I can trust you to understand. And then <clears throat> I should point out that all these cards are good as tokens of someone's love in a time when you need some kind of physical reminder because you're not getting the lovemaking that is presumably a marker of your usual uh, situation. Uh, and so this is one that works for all kinds of situations, for, you know, PTSD, for, uh, uh, you know, depression or other things that are hard to explain. Although there are bad things affecting our love life, I still love life with you. Thanks for your patience. Anyway, those are the cards. I hope one of them helps. And in the meantime, I hope this has made your day slightly more pleasant.